coming up, we review all of the action from yesterday in Major League Baseball. This is Locked On Now MLB. The biggest games, the best performances, expert analysis. You are Locked On Now. Welcome in. You're listening to Locked On Now MLB, local experts weighing in on the biggest stories in baseball. I'm your host, Kainani Stevens. Thank you for making Locked On Now your first listen every single weekday. We've got our Locked On MLB hosts here. They're ready to recap all of the action from yesterday in baseball, but we start off with our biggest game. The biggest game. That's it. After a review at first base, the ball game is over. And wait, who is that? Two series in a row? It's Mr. Broom! The Phil's sweep again. Connor Thomas, your host of Locked On Phillies. <laughs> Steve's unbelievable. Bryce Harper goes yard again. He's on an unreal tear right now. Kyle Schwarber goes yard. June Kyle Schwarber might be the best hitter in baseball history. And Rob Thompson has still not lost the game as Philadelphia Phillies manager. Uh, this team is swept back-to-back -back series. And one was against the Angels, who were having a tough time. This one against the Brewers, who were first in the NL Central. This team is on fire right now. I don't know what it is. I, it could just be the managerial change. It could be the weather. It could be confidence. It's a whole bunch of things that leads into a streak like this. But let's keep it going. And the schedule just gets easier from here. The Philadelphia Phillies are absolutely on fire. Let's keep it going. Mr. Broom is going to hang out for another couple days. Rock on Rockies fans. Paul Holden here from the Locked on Rockies podcast. Well, for the first time in three years, the Colorado Rockies go on the road to San Francisco and win a series. It took everything. It took a lot of pitching. It took good defense. It took the Giants committing, a, I think, a season high in airs. However, the Rockies take two out of three of the Giants to a great start to this road trip where I myself had a lot of doubts. This is a potential turnaround moment for this team. There's a lot more ball to be played, but hey, the good news is the Colorado Rockies have taken down the Giants in a road series. You take those wins. You take division wins, especially on the road. Strong pitching performance from Austin Gomber. Clutch hitting Connor Joe gets on base again. All the right things for the Colorado Rockies in this one against the Giants. We'll be breaking it all down right here on Locked on Rockies. Yeah. <laughs> Was that the win of the year? It may have been. Up to this point, I think it may have been the win of the year. The Yankees just won a game in which Garrett Cole gave up five home runs. Five of them. Three of them in a row. Back to back to back. He only lasted two and one-third innings. Gave up seven runs on eight hits. His ERA is up to a 3.63. And the Yankees still won. <laughs> Something about the Twins and the Yankees. They, they can't play normal games. I don't understand. <laughs> I'm still in shock. Anyway, I'll have a full recap of this on uh, the next Locked on Yankees. We'll preview the series against the Cubs. Because that starts on Friday. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Coming up, we'll have more from yesterday's action in baseball. This is Locked On Now MLB. Today's edition of Locked On Now is brought to you by Built Bar. They're the best tasting protein bars on the market. They're all made with 100% real chocolate, so they taste great. They're high in protein, but low in fat, low in sugar, and low in carbs. And now you can also check out one of their newest products, Built Granola Bars as well. If you head over to Built.com, you can use our promo code LOCKED15 to get 15% off of your order. Just make sure you put in that promo code LOCKED15 for 15% off of your order at Built.com. Welcome back to Locked On Now MLB. I'm Kainani Stevens. Thank you for making Locked On Now your first listen every single weekday. Now we continue our look around the league. Let's go around the league. 
Better late than never as the D-backs complete the rally in the ninth inning to split the series against the Cincinnati Reds. Miller Thomas of locked on Dimebacks here. This was a slow start by both the offense and the pitching as Zach Davies gave up three earned runs in the first inning. And it looked like it was going to be a long start for Davies, but he settles in after that. Six innings, seven strikeouts, I believe. It ends up being a pretty good start by Zach Davies. And the offense, only one run through the first eight innings, courtesy of a Paven Smith bomb. But in the ninth inning, Paven Smith actually starts it off by getting on base. Then we're off to the races as the D-backs put four runs on the board in the ninth inning. They complete the comeback and they end up splitting the series against the Cincinnati Reds because they've been struggling against the Pirates. They were struggling most of this series, but they end up splitting it. And now you face the Philadelphia Phillies on Friday and then the Cincinnati Reds again. So the D-backs have a chance to at least get back to 500 with their next two series. Well, it finally happened. 14 losses in a row. The Angels on Thursday night finally got a victory. Hey everybody, my name is Mike Frisch, one half of Locked On Angels, and Shohei Otani leads the Angels to a 5-2 to two victory on Thursday night, going seven innings and looking dominant. He had a two-run home run to give us the lead, and then Andrew Velasquez, we affectionately call him Squid, hit a three-run home run, and the Angels win 5-2, to two. game is closed out by Rysel Iglesias. This is how it's supposed to be. You know, baseball is a funny sport. The last 14 games have been frustrating and heartbreaking, but we got a win on Thursday, and now we got some hope. John and I are going to talk all about the Angels on Locked On Angels and get you set for the weekend as they play the New York Mets. That'll be tough, but we got some hope. We got some hope. Yay, we got some hope. Hope you'll join us on Locked On Angels. Well, whether you like offense or drama or a guy fresh off the IL having a huge game or a Hall of Fame manager making a stupid decision, this game had something for you. What's up? It's Jeff from Locked On Dodgers. The Dodgers beat the White Sox in the series finale 11-9. Uh, back and forth game, White Sox scored the first four runs, the Dodgers scored 10 of the next 11, and then the White Sox scored, what, four, four of the last five, but luckily that 10 out of 11 was enough for the Dodgers to hold on. Uh, Tyler Anderson had an uncharacteristic bad start. Uh, some of the bullpen pitched well, some of it struggled a little bit, but they all essentially got the job done eventually. The big story was Max Muncy, a double and a home run for five RBIs, and what led to Muncy's home run, Tony LaRusso's decision to intentionally walk Trey Turner on a one and two count to get to Muncy. Muncy made him pay, as he said after the game. And uh, we're gonna have a lot to say about this decision by Tony LaRusso. We're also gonna have a lot to say about Max Muncy. A ton of stuff to talk about from this game. I can't wait to record it tonight. I hope you can't wait to listen to it first thing tomorrow morning because we are your first listen every day, Locked On Dodgers. Cleveland Guardians keep on winning. Now a game over 500. Actually, only a game out of the wild card. That might be a bit surprising for people to hear with some of the struggles they've had. A strong game. They had to come back twice in this one to finally win it 8-4. to four. First time all year we've had back-to-back -back home runs. Jose Ramirez and Josh Naylor going deep. But the bigger storylines, Oscar Gonzalez with four hits. Stephen Kwan with three hits and a walk. The young players are performing well. Andres Jimenez with the big two. Well, it wasn't two out hit, but still the big hit in this one. Uh, I think... And he have the big double as well. So, I mean, maybe that was a two-out hit. But all in all, it was a strong performance. Connor Pilkington struggled a little bit with command in this one. Uh, overall, though, you have to be happy with how the young players are playing. The Cleveland Guardians are the youngest team in baseball. And the youth is performing well. Well, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. That was a bad loss for the Orioles. They fall 7-5. to five. On the road against Kansas City Royals on Thursday night, dropping the first game of a four-game series. And... Kansas City has shown they might be the worst team in baseball this year, and, uh, well, the Orioles did not get it done. I mean, they did get four runs off of Chris Bubik, who's been one of the worst starters in the majors this year, but just basically failed to score against the Kansas City bullpen, got one in the eighth, and Jordan Lyles really was the issue again tonight. Gets lit up for the O's, allowing six runs over five innings. Lyles, who started off the season really, really strong for the O's, has an 8.16 ERA in his last three starts. He's been hit around a lot. Starting to look like the Jordan Lyles who really struggled in Texas last year. And that is not what the Orioles need. But they dropped the first game of this four-game set. I'll recap it all coming up on Friday's episode of the Locked On Orioles podcast.
That's all for today on Locked On Now MLB. Thank you for making Locked On Now your first listen every single weekday. Make sure you check out Locked On MLB and your team's Locked On podcast. I'm Kainani Stevens. This has been Locked On Now.